All right, so this sequence of videos highlights my progression through FIS, or hip pain, pain with impingement, pain with flexion. I always start with this image in my videos because I think it's incredibly important. We want to have a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset, as we go through any rehab journey. There's going to be lots of things you can't do, but there's going to be lots you can do, and initially that should be your focus. And I felt um, I, I did a good job of, of that through this process. So I started with basic hip lifts on the ground, just, just getting the butt up. And then I tried to move into some activation of the muscles around the hip using cables. Early on, I, I could do deadlifts like this. It felt really good to move around the hip. The left was the sore side. And then moved into um, moving with a bit more speed. You know, initially I was starting with a simple load, slower exercises, but again, I'm trying to get back to a fast sport. So I want to be able to do faster movements. And then it was moving into to slow controlled squash movements. So just in the gym, doing things like uh, squash strokes. And then building it up, actually getting into some flexion. So a split squat and then adding more weight getting a deadlift. So I actually did hit my max during this time. Um, so I was able to stay strong in other ways. Maybe I wasn't able to play as much squash, but I made sure that everything else stayed really strong. And then, yeah, things like step ups. So doing things on one leg, doing things on both legs, getting that full variety of movements and ranges of the hip is really important. This was one of the hardest movements for me, but with time, I got lower and lower. See there, you can kind of see that limitation. But again, I still did it. I did it to the edge, and then I moved forward. I was able to run through most of the process too. You know, sometimes it's incredible how bad the pain can be, but something like running feels great. Um, but here I am doing a few stairs. And then always with an eye on, on what my sport is, so moving back onto the court. And, I, and again, I never really took the racket out of my hand. I was always doing something, and, and that should be your process. Whatever your sport, at any stage, you should be doing something um, that works you around your sport. And then you're just gradually getting harder and harder and faster and faster, and as you move into those games, it's not a big step up. So again, we think of a ladder progression through these injuries, but we're always working different portions of that ladder, maybe at different intensities and at different volumes, um, but it's not a completely linear process. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, if you have hip pain or hip injury, you can always reach out to me as well. Thanks for watching.